Hey guys, uh, I just got done eating dinner, and I know I this is my first time vlogging today, so, um, yeah, because I slept a lot today. Anyhow, uh, my stupid sleeping schedule. Anyhow, I was watching some YouTube videos, and I watch a girl named, I think her name is Caitlin Connerty, maybe? I don't know, I have to, I have to look. I could be wrong. She daily vlogs. Um, but she did her vlog today about um, the oil leak, BP's oil leak from the thing. <laughs> um, and she made me aware, because I haven't watched the news. I mean, I know that stuff is going on um, with the oil spill and all that and it's still not fixed but I haven't really watched the news and all that so I guess they were gonna try to fix it today I don't know for sure I need to do some more research about it um, but she made me aware of this live video feed that they have um, up and um, it's really pretty horrible I didn't really take the time, you know, to see how bad it really was, and it's kind of disgusting. Um, well, it is disgusting. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys, I'll put the macro on and let you guys see. Look at it just pouring out. I've just been sitting here watching it. Like, and then I was, it's like more than one hole. There's like a bunch of holes. I mean, I don't know how oil rigs work, you know? I don't know how stuff is, but. Um, it's pretty ridiculous. That, and it's gone on for however many, how many days has it even gone on? I don't even know. But. Look at, they have like an estimated gallons leaked. And look at it, it's up to 18 million. I mean, this is, you know, just like a, <clears throat> this is like a ticker. I mean, I can adjust the leak rate too. Like, I can go down here and change it or whatever, the different, how much it leaks. But I don't, I mean, it's down to that right now. But they have it set to... 504,000 gallons per day. And I, when I turned it on earlier, they were like working on stuff. They had like the robot, um, the robot arms or something out. Like they were like trying to fix something. I don't know what they were. I mean, I not that I, you know, I don't know what they were trying to do. But if you go watch, I'll link you guys to her video. She did a wonderful job explaining it more than I did. Um, so yeah, it's just, I don't know, I just, like I knew it was bad, but I guess when you don't see what it looks like, it's, you don't realize, I don't know, me being ignorant, I suppose, um, and just ignoring it, but you know, obviously this is not good to ignore. So I will put the um, link to this website. Uh, below my in my in the bottom bar or the under bar, um, so you guys can go see it. Like it's just it bugs me because you know oil rigs have been along have been around you know a long time, and something like this. I mean, I don't know how old this oil rig is. It could, you know, I'm sure it's probably kind of old. But you'd think something like this would have, like, a backup plan. Like, if something like this were to happen. You know what I mean? Like, there's, people always have backup plans, you know, for if something occurs with anything. So, I just don't get why this didn't have a backup plan and why it's taking them so long to fix it. I don't know. I just... 
I mean, I don't even know how big these holes are. You know what I mean? Like, this video doesn't even do it justice to probably explain how big those holes actually probably are. I don't know. Because to me, they don't look that big right now. But in reality, I'm sure they probably are. I don't know. But yeah. So, just kind of disappoint, you know, it's... I don't even know, like, I don't even have words to explain how angry you are, you know, when you see stuff like this. But yeah, anyway, well, go watch her video. She does a way better job at explaining it than I did. But it's just frustrating. And I'm mad that I don't pay attention to this stuff, you know? Always on YouTube, but don't watch, you know, I don't watch the news that much. stream there was a oil rig and apparently it burst and it burst because it was a supposedly a inspection supposed to be on it a while back but BP never got it inspected kind of like a car inspection or a house inspection before you buy a house stuff like that well they didn't get it inspected and look at it, it blew up and killed 11 men but besides the fact of the killing of 11 men right now it's gushing over a hundred thousand barrels a day. This picture um, shows the oil spill in a different color so you guys can see it better. Like all the lighter blue, like all around here. That is all oil. All the way down here. But these are clouds right here. The white ones. But yeah, they just made the color different so you could see it better. Because right here where there's red, you guys can see it. The, the red X right there, that's where the rig is. So yeah. That's a good picture of it. Now, let's see, when was this picture taken? That was taken... Page updated May 20th, so maybe a week ago. Uh, I wanted to let you guys know that uh, I did actually talk to Phil last night on Facebook. I said I don't know how long it takes to drive down there, but he said he was like driving all day. So, um, yeah. And then when he finally got in or whatever, he, I guess, you know, talked with his friends. Because he's staying at a friend's house um, right now. So he was talking with his friends, I'm sure, and catching up. And then he finally decided to get online and let me know that he was there. <laughs> and today, I guess he was out and about getting his truck situated. And he never made it to the phone store. Like, he told me he was going to go to get a cell phone yesterday. Like, he told me yesterday that today he was going to get a, go get a phone. And then never did see where I am on his priority list. <laughs> no, I know he's got a lot to do, but, um, so he never did get his cell phone. I guess he can do that tomorrow. I guess he's staying there till Saturday, so he won't start driving up until Saturday, and I guess he said he's gonna take his time to get up here, so that might take, like, a day or, well, more than a day. A day and a half, or I don't know. The last time he drove up, from San Antonio, he drove, like, when he surprised me that time, like I said before, when he surprised me on Valentine's Day, he did not stop at all to, like, sleep. He just kept driving, which isn't good, because then he gets, like, delirious, but, uh, <laughs> so this time he said he's gonna stop and, like, get a hotel room or something, so... We'll see what happens. So it might take, you know, a couple days for him to get all the way up here. But, so that's the plan. So I'm guessing that would put him here maybe Sunday night-ish. Maybe Monday. I don't know for sure, like, what day. Or, like, what time, like, he'll get here. Or what time he'll, like, 
leave from San Antonio. Like, if he'll leave, like, early in the morning on Saturday. I don't know, but he's got plans to go out tonight with some friends. They're going to go two-stepping. Any of you country people out there <laughs> know what I'm talking about. Two-step is a dance that you do at a country bar. I don't know. I, I'm not very good at it. I've only done it once with him. And I realize I suck. <laughs> but um, they're planning on going out. So I'm sure he'll have a good time. But I'm jealous of everybody over there. Because <laughs> they all get to see him before I do. It's not fair. I will talk to you guys later. K-Dog out. Bye guys.